Good morning, Polly. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, 2022. I'm Henry Lyons. I'm Tori Kaliba. Welcome to In Focus. This week is Thankfulness Week. Today, join wellness in creating friendship bracelets and writing cards. Also, the Flower Club is distributing flowers. If you get one, pass it on to spread gratitude and kindness. Stay tuned for new thankfulness activities every day for the rest of this week. Show your gratitude. The Pali Homeless Outreach Program is hosting a food drive from November 14th to the 18th during lunch at the Quad. Non-perishable foods will be appreciated. All proceeds will go to downtown streets to help the homeless citizens of Palo Alto so that they can enjoy Thanksgiving meals. ASB class officers are hosting a sophomore spike ball tournament this week. Sign-ups close today before second period. Find the sign-up link on the Schoology Bulletin, Instagram bio, or Remind. The tournament will run from today through Thursday. Brackets and additional information will be released through Instagram. Pali's 18th annual Turkey Feast will be held this Friday, November 18th during the extended lunch. Purchase tickets to this student and staff event in the advance at the link on the screen. Email paliturkeyfeast at gmail.com. The window to sign up for Prime ends tomorrow at 10 a.m. Make sure to sign up before then. Attendance is mandatory for Prime. At the lunch bell, Pali students spill out of classrooms to their desired lunch spots. Some go towards the student center to receive the complimentary district lunch, while others might head, decide to head to town and country's multitude of eateries, even with the increased prices in the past year. In Focus reporter Bennett Hardy has more. School lunch used to be something that was only free to lower income families who applied for the National School Lunch Program. However, this program became stigmatized because students were embarrassed about being seen as poor. So when the pandemic hit, the United States Department of Agriculture paid school districts to provide free lunch to all students. As a result, the amount of free meals given out to students increased dramatically. So starting this year, California politicians and legislators have come to an agreement to make lunch free to all public schools. It looks fine. I've never like tried it myself, so I don't know how good it is, but I think it's a good option for students who can't get down in country. Due to the recent economic trend of inflation, the prices of food at town and country have risen rapidly. Food items that either their portions became smaller for the same price or the price increased for the same portion. So I think there's definitely some signs of inflation. Even the student discounts have become unaffordable to most students. Um, I usually get the school lunch and sometimes I bring my own food and sometimes I mooch off of others and sometimes I just find food. While some students work for their lunch money, it is common for some students to swipe their parents' credit card without a glance at the price tag. You know, sometimes I like to treat myself. I got money, I got a job, I'm not broke. So I'll go, I'll go into town and country. Maybe I'll get a little wrap from Trader Joe's. While economic disparities at Pali are not as apparent in the classroom, they can be seen in what students eat for lunch. But whatever is the best option for you, make sure to stay nutritious, Pally. For In Focus, I'm Bennett Hardy. That does it for today's show. Follow us on social media at In Focus News to engage with our content and visit our website to view today's campus bulletin. Until next time, I'm Henry Lyons. I'm Tori Kaliba, and this has been In Focus News. Have a great day, Polly.